In today's news, Aljamain Sterling reveals the UFC advised him to withdraw from UFC 307. As many of you know, Sterling had to pull out of his matchup against Movsar Evloev because of an injury. Their three-round fight was set for October 5th at UFC 307 in the Delta Center Salt Lake City. Now, in an interview on MMA Today, Aljo went into more detail on the injury and revealed that the UFC advised him to move the date up rather than fighting injured. That didn't sound good, but keep going. So I end up finishing the last half of that round and then the next two rounds. And I'm thinking, I'm like, man, my arm is definitely dead. Uh, so I try to finish grappling and just to see where it's at. And by the time it cooled down, we took our pictures, whatever, post sparring. And the arm was shot. And I knew instantly I needed to get it looked at. Got the MRI. And it's just unfortunate, man. The doctors told me one week. And I should be fine because it's a grade one tear. <clears throat> a week goes by and I still can't straighten my arm. I still can't straighten my arm today. And then I tried to give it a few more days. And then the, that Saturday, getting ready for, with Marab, uh, I tried to push off the ground and I couldn't even put weight on it. And I knew, I told the UFC, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna give it a few more days to see if I can make it happen. And it just, you know, they, they advised that I probably move the date. And I said, okay. It's probably better because I know if I go, if I compromise, I'm going to come with excuses. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to do that again, you know. So I, I told Mozart even in the beginning, like, I'd rather fight you at your best. And uh, I want you to fight me at my best so that. Kamar Usman gets humbled by Umar Nurmagomedov. Umar recently appeared on the Pond for Pond podcast where he discussed a variety of topics, including a potential total shot against Marab Dvashvili. At one point, Kamaru, who's the host of the show, stated that he's the actual boss of the welterweight division. Umar quickly checked Usman on his own podcast, saying that sure, Kamaru can think he is the boss, but that right now, Bilal Muhammad is the actual boss of the welterweight division. I am the boss of the welterweight division. I took a little break, you know, two years break relax, take care of my body a little bit. Next year, I will come back. Inshallah, I will show these guys I'm still the boss. And I, <laughs> but inshallah, right now, and inshallah. Sorry, brother. But, but right now, you know, Bilal. <laughs> sorry, brother. Right. Bilal, Bilal Muhammad, right now, oh. boss, brother. Damn, you know, you know them. got me. Right, you got me. Brother, this guy, this guy, this guy works for me. You have to believe. This guy worked for me. Yes, you have to believe your boss. You have to believe this, and I yes. have to believe me too. You have to too. Everybody have believe ourselves, but for right now, right now, below the chance. <laughs> Tim Welch addresses the backlash following Sean O'Malley's loss at UFC 306. Welch was in O'Malley's corner at Noche UFC last Saturday, and right before round five, he said to Sean, "We are almost done with this." This instruction caught many fans off guard, where many, including former UFC champion Matt Serra, criticized the coach's comment. Speaking in a recent interview with ESPN MMA. Welch responded to critics of his corner work and admitted that his statement didn't really come out the way he intended. Went into the fifth round. I mean, it came out. It came out the wrong way. I, I, I meant to say we're almost done with this. Like that, you, you're going to clip him at any time. But also, I've known Sean for 12 years. I know what's going through his mind and keeping him confident. I always forget those cameras were rolling on my mic and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I want to keep, keep his head in it. I, I, I didn't. It sounded way worse than it actually was. I, I was meant to say this fight's almost over mm -hmm. we're almost done with this you can clip him at any point but it just came out the wrong way and it sounded stupid yeah i mean exactly he, he just when he came back to the court and he did look a little defeated in my eyes that's why I, I mean i said hey we're almost done with this don't 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 be so defeated right now but it came out it came out we're bad I could see. The MMA community slammed Sean O'Malley for his recent comments. After re-watching his fight against Marab Dvashvili at UFC 306, O'Malley says he thinks he won three rounds out of the five and that he should have been declared the winner. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. I haven't rewatched the fight. Oh shit, okay, I don't know how this Twitter space shit works. I think we're gone. Damn, is this Twitter, does this mean it's, oh okay, yeah, it means it's working. All right, tw uh, Twitter fam. I have not rewatched the fight because the narrative around this fight was I got my ass whooped. I'm gonna, I hope, I'm gonna ask the UFC if they will please post that fight on YouTube. I won the first, third, and fifth round. And I challenge all you little dorks that think that I got my ass kicked to go and rewatch that fight. I know it's hard, non biased, to rewatch it, whether you hate me or love me. Rewatch that fight, turn the commentary off, 
and tell me I did not win that fight. I won the first, third, and fifth. These comments sparked much backlash from the MMA community, where one fan wrote, How much CT Marab give you? Another said, Wait, you won a round? No cap, you're starting to give off Dylan Dennis vibes, just take the L and move on. Not gonna lie, it was closer to 5 0 Marab than you winning three rounds. Take some rest, bro. Sean, I've got bad news, man. Bro's pulling a John Jones with Marab living in his head just like Reyes for Jones. You're winning round six and seven right now, too. You're embarrassing. What you smoking, Sean? I need to get some of that shit. Have fun getting KO'd by Corey in your next fight. Did Chell tell you to say this? Rob responded to Sugar's comments, posting this skit. What talk with you, bro? Why you keep smoking, my friend? I thought he was just sleeping now. It's a sleep time for you, bro. Come on, bro. Listen, son. Don't worry about this Umar Nurmagomedo. I will take care of Umar. You're not a champion anymore, and I'm going to take belt from you again. So you drive safe, son. Let's go, Sean. No more smoke. No more smoke. See you. Bye. Drive safe, OK? If you TJ Dillashaw gives his prediction on the Sean O'Malley vs. Corey Sandhagen potential fight. After his title loss, O'Malley was immediately called out by fourth ranked Corey Sandhagen. With similar fighting styles, the matchup would most definitely be an exciting fight to watch. Speaking on the most recent episode of the Jackson Podcast, former UFC champion TJ Dillashaw shared his take on the matchup saying that the Sandman peace up O'Malley as Corey is just better at all the things that O'Malley is simply good at. Hey, San Hagen, I know you trained with him as well, and they yeah. also fought him. Mm -hmm. It looks like he's probably going to have to fight Sean now. What do you think about that fight? I think he pieces Sean up. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so, like, when they were getting ready to give a, a title fight to someone, I thought that uh, San Hagen would have been a dope fight for him. Um, but I think San Hagen's just better at what O'Malley's good at, to be honest. He's just more dangerous, right? But O'Malley's got great feints, good, I mean... That's the fight to make. Yeah, I think so I too. honestly have all the fights. I would I love to see, see that fight. Kevin Lee is set to return to MMA September 28th. Back in February, Kevin revealed plans to come out of his retirement and return to the UFC. However, the former title challenger is still without contract. Earlier this month, he stated that he's even willing to fight his way back into the company by competing in the Contender Series if necessary. Not long after, Kevin booked a return to the cage for September 28th at the Lights Out Championship against relatively unknown Brazilian journeyman Thiago Oliveira, as reported by MMA Junkie earlier today. This comes just a few days after Kevin also announced his intention to compete for Jorge Masvidal's Gamebred FC, where he plans to participate in Gamebred Bare Knuckle MMA 8, which is set for November although the 32-year-old has no opponent yet. It's time for today's top memes. Third place was found over on Reddit and was posted by Trump's Wall 2. Second place meme was found over on X and was posted by Mr. Testrostogen. And the top pick was found over on Reddit and was posted by The Shadow Wanderer. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay in the talk.